Hey guys, so I'm going to be sharing with you my very late um, uh, November and December Best in Beauty. Um, you guys, first of all, I want to profusely apologize for just getting this favorite studio up now. Um, between finals, I, with finals it was just nuts and I really wanted to film it way earlier than this, obviously. But with finals, I just didn't have time. And I know I, I feel like I say that. If you watch my vlog channel, I feel like I say I don't have time because of finals and da da da, da it's so much. But it really, finals really had to take all my time. So I apologize for just getting this up now. But because finals are done, I can actually film it. So here we go. Um, honestly, nothing really has changed. There's a few new things, um, but not that much. So... Um, I'm sorry if most of this is a repeat, but it's what I love and it's what I wear. If I love something, I continue to wear it. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. So, um, the first thing that I loved in both um, November and this month um, is the Laura Geller Spackle Supercharged Face Primer. Um, as you've heard me say before, I have tried several other face primers and this one just seems to do the job much better. Um, don't ask me why, I just, I don't know what it is about this that actually just works. I don't know. So um, this is the face primer I've been loving, but as you'll see in, um, in January, um, I will be um, trying out some new face primers. So we will see if this one is still my favorite. So. Um, yeah, so this is my favorite face oh, we're primer. on the subject of face. Let's go with foundation. So my trusted foundation that I freaking love right now is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus SPF 50 blah blah blah. Um, it's just the CC cream. Um, my shade is medium. It does have a pump for those of us that has to have a pump on their foundation, <laughs> i.e. me. Um, I love this so much. I'm wearing this today. I can't get enough of this. Um, I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. Um, yeah, I I love it. It's, it's awesome. If you have never tried this, oh my gosh, you guys need to go out and try it. It's just awesome. I think you'll, you'll really like it. So, Anyway, that is my foundation that I've been loving so this past couple months. So, for blush, I've been pretty much sticking to the same blush for the entire two months. And it is the NYX HD Blush in, I think this is Intuition, yes. Um, I love this. I'm wearing this today. It is so pretty, you guys. It reminds me a lot of um, e.l.f. Uh, blushing Rose. It's kind of the same tone. Blushing Rose is a little bit deeper, um, but I love this so much. I just can't get enough of it. It's a wonderful for under eye shade. Um, concealer. I'm wearing this today as well. It is the Pixi Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. I just think this works wonderfully for my dark circles. Um, it just, I feel like it hides them well. Um, and as far as the creasing goes, I think I've said this a few times before, um, with the creasing, if you have overly watery eyes or you end up crying or water gets in your face or something, um, while you have this under eye concealer on, for whatever reason, on me, I don't know if this has happened to anybody else. If this has happened to you, leave comments down below of what you've done. Um, it like... It starts to peel off and it like I don't know it starts to peel off and ball up and it's I uh, yeah it just it doesn't work so if you have overly watery eyes I would not suggest this um, concealer I maybe would try benefit erase paste um, but yeah I I love this concealer it it does so job. <laughs> the um, powder that I use for that under eye concealer as well as sometimes my brow bone highlight is the Wet n Wild Single in Brulee. This just works amazingly for the under eye um, setting powder. As you can see, I've made a fairly large 
um, dent in it. <laughs> I finally hit pan on this, um, but I, I love this. This is awesome. So that has been um, for another thing powder, I've been loving. Um, of course, has been the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. My shade is Creamy Natural. Um, I've made quite a big dent in this, as you can see. Um, I have hit pan. Um, I love this so much. I this this is just a wonderful setting powder. I'm wearing this today. Um, I am trying out, I will be trying out another setting powder from Maybelline here in the next month or so, so watch for a review on that. But, uh, for now, th this is So this now is that I think my we've favorite. covered all the face stuff, let's move on to eyes. So, my, um, eye primer that I've been loving is, can we all say it together? <laughs> Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I just, I love this, um... I think I'm finally starting to use up this tube. Um, this is probably my second tube I've tried to get through. Um, so it's it's getting there. Um, but th this is my, my most favorite so far. Uh, I, I don't really, I mean, I've tried to like, e.l.f. Um, $1 eye primer is good. I, I don't know. I find that this just works a little bit better. Maybe it's just because so it's a little bit more So for eyeshadow, this is something new. Um, I have been loving for the entire couple of months the Lorac Mega uh, Pro 2 palette. Um, this came out for the holidays. It is still uh, available to my knowledge, um, but I have been loving just playing with everything. So here's a look at the palette. Um, I just... I love this so freaking much. I'm wearing um, one of the shades today, and it is the um, this one down here. It's called Peony. Um, it's this beautiful, like peachy rose gold color. Um, so this is just freaking amazing. I love or, it so um, much. Mascara. I have been loving the um, Lancome Hypnos Drama. Sadly, this is pretty much done. Um, there's really nothing left in it, so I, um, will put it in my empties. Um, but nevertheless, this was a good mascara. I think I have another one, um, in, waiting in a drawer, but I, this was a good mascara. So, um, but yeah, so this is going in my empties because it's pretty I much trailer, as always. Um, this is the e.l.f. $1. Um, this one, for whatever reason is a little different than the one I had before. It doesn't have the um, rubber on top anymore. Um, I guess they don't make it like that anymore. But um, nevertheless, it still curls your lashes I think we're down really to well. lips. So what I've been doing is kind of flopping back and forth between um, a couple new products and then an oldie but a goodie. Um, so the first thing I've been going to a lot more are the um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipsticks. Um, I got the uh, Be Envied Lipstick Set for, uh, it was a holiday thing. Um, it was a limited edition holiday thing on EsteeLauder.com and you got four of these little mini um, Pure Color Envy Lipsticks. I'd never tried them before so I figured that would be a really good route to go. So this first one is called um, Intense Nude. It's a gorgeous deep nude color. Um, I'll swatch it for you. I really, I think this shade I wore pretty much most of the month. So there is Intense Nude. Um, the next one that I started wearing is the shade called Desirable. And it's also a nude, but it's a little lighter. It's actually one of those ones that you could say would be true nude. So there's that one. I'll show you them side by side. Um, Intense Nude reminds me a lot of the NYX um, HD lipstick in Flutter Kiss. So there is uh, Desirable and um, the other one is uh, Intense Nude. So there are those two together side by side so you can see the difference. 
And then the last lipstick I kind of have in my rotation is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Flutter Kiss. Um, as I said, this reminds me a lot of um, Intense Nude. Okay, so there is Flutter Kiss. Um, and then the middle one is Desirable, and the other one is, um, this one here is Intense Nude. So there is all three together. Um, so that is what I've been uh, kind of rotating with um, over the past couple of so, months. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I feel like that was less than I thought it would be. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching as always, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!